Based on a true story set in the late 50s, Richard and Mildred Loving, an interracial couple, get married in Washington, D.C. to avoid the laws of their home state, Virginia. After being arrested for breaking the state's laws, the couple get caught up in a court battle that leads to the changing of the country's laws on segregated marriage. Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Gino. Today we're going to be taking a look at writer-director Jeff Nichols' new movie, Loving. I have to say that this movie was way different than I thought it was going to be. That being said, it was a Jeff Nichols movie, so in the end I was pleasantly surprised. What I was expecting was more of a court drama, but instead we got more of a personal family story. While I liked the story that was given, and in the end it wasn't really necessary to show the court stuff, I would have been interested in seeing it anyway. The story itself was interesting because what you had was two people that just wanted to love each other and be married. They weren't looking to be heroes, but were caught up in a battle that changed one of the worst laws in our country. From both sides, they were either held down by a racist state law in Virginia, and at times it felt like they were being used by the ACLU as a way to get the law changed. They just wanted to be able to live the way they wanted to live. For the most part, the acting in this movie is subtle but really good. Joel Edgerton and Ruth Nega, who play the Lovings, do a great job at portraying the couple in the simplest way. The Lovings were just regular people, and the two portrayed them in that way. The biggest casting problem I had with this was the two ACLU lawyers, played by Nick Kroll and John Bass. Their scenes, except one, unintentionally came off as silly at times because of their performances. I will say that at the very least, they didn't come off as silly during their most important scene. This is a Jeff Nichols movie, so of course Michael Shannon shows up, because Michael Shannon is awesome, playing a photographer from Life magazine. His are the pictures that are shown at the end of the movie of the real loving couple. While this movie wasn't what I was expecting, I still enjoyed it for what it was. I will warn you that this is a very slow movie that shows what would be considered the least exciting part of a national event, but it does show you the heart of it. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion.